Picture this. You're strolling down the streets of London, sipping on a cup of tea, taking in the sounds of Big Ben chiming in the distance and the scent of freshly baked scones wafting through the air. It's a city full of surprises and hidden treasures that only the locals know about. Lucky for you, we've compiled a list of the top 10 places you can visit in London in 2023. So get ready to explore the city like a true Londoner. And number 10, Little Venice. Welcome to Little Venice, the charming neighborhood in West London that feels like a slice of Italy in the heart of the city. Wondering how it got its name? Well, picture gondolas gliding along the water, narrow winding canals, and picturesque bridges. Yeah, Little Venice is indeed reminiscent of the famous Italian city, and that's why it's called Little Venice. But don't be fooled by the name. This place is far from just a small touristy spot. It's a hidden gem that's beloved by locals and visitors alike for its tranquil atmosphere, colorful houseboats, and beautiful waterways. Take a leisurely stroll along the canals, indulge in a picnic on the banks, or hop on a boat ride for a unique perspective of the area. It's the perfect place to escape the chaos of the city and experience a bit of serenity in the heart of London. At number 9 we have St. Dunstan in the East. Now, if you're looking for a place that has got that old school charm, you should check out St. Dunstan in the East. It's an incredible attraction tucked away in the city that is perfect for anyone who loves history, architecture, or just a peaceful spot to relax. The church was built back in the 1100s and went through major events in history, including surviving the Great Fire of London and World War II bombings. But even with all that, it's still standing strong and has been turned into a beautiful public garden. You'll find ivy-covered walls, twisted trees, and quiet spots to sit and soak up the atmosphere. It's like stepping back in time and getting in touch with nature and history at the same time. So grab a coffee, pack a book, and head on over to St. Dunstan in the East. You won't regret it. At number 8, we have Sky Garden. The next amazing place we have on our list is Sky Garden, which is London's highest public garden. Sky Garden is a must-see destination in London for anyone who loves a good view. With its 38-story glass building, you'll get a stunning 360-degree panoramic view of the city skyline that you won't find anywhere else. And the best part? It's totally free. Not only is Sky Garden a great spot for some amazing Instagram-worthy photos, but it also has beautifully landscaped gardens, restaurants, bars, and event spaces. So whether you're looking for a romantic dinner spot or a fun night out with friends, Sky Garden has something for everyone. Next up at number 7 we have Kyoto Garden. Kyoto Garden is a peaceful oasis located in Holland Park, London. It's a traditional Japanese garden that was created as a symbol of friendship between Japan and Great Britain. The garden features a stunning pond, waterfall, stone lanterns, and a variety of Japanese plants and trees. The beauty of Kyoto Garden is in its simplicity and serenity. It's a great spot for a relaxing stroll or a quiet picnic with friends. And if you're lucky, you might even spot some peacocks roaming around the park. Whether you're a fan of Japanese culture or just looking for a tranquil escape from the busy city, Kyoto Garden is a must-visit destination in London. At number 6, Grant Museum of Zoology. The Grant Museum of Zoology is a fascinating place to visit for animal lovers and science enthusiasts alike. A part of University College London, the museum houses an impressive collection of over 67,000 specimens, ranging from skeletons and taxidermy to preserved specimens in jars. You'll find everything from extinct animals to bizarre creatures you never knew existed. The museum also has a range of interactive exhibits and events, making it a great destination for all ages. If you're looking for a unique and educational experience in London, the Grant Museum of Zoology should definitely be on your list. Before we move on, hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay connected and updated. At number 5 we have the Eltham Palace. Eltham Palace is a stunning Art Deco mansion located in southeast London. Originally a medieval royal palace, Eltham was transformed into a luxurious home in the 1930s by millionaire Stefan Courtauld and his wife Virginia. The whole place stretches over 19 acres that also include stunning gardens. The palace is a unique blend of medieval and modern architecture, 
with beautifully preserved original features alongside stylish art deco interiors. You can explore its lavish reception rooms, stunning gardens, and even a basement air raid shelter from World War II. So no doubt, Eltham Palace is a must-see destination for anyone interested in history, architecture, and design. Number 4. The Painted Hall Next on our list, we have the Painted Hall. The Painted Hall is a masterpiece of British Baroque art located on the old Royal Naval College in Greenwich, London. The hall is known for its stunning ceiling and wall paintings, created by Sir James Thornhill in the early 18th century. The paintings depict scenes from British history and mythology and are considered some of the finest examples of Baroque art in the country. Visitors can admire the intricate details and vibrant colors of the paintings and learn about their fascinating history and restoration. So if you love learning about history through paintings, this is the place for you to be. And number three, Sir John Soane's Museum. If you're looking for a quirky and fascinating museum to visit in London, you definitely need to check out Sir John Soane's Museum. This place is full of surprises, and you'll definitely love it. The museum is located in the former home of Sir John Soane, a famous architect who designed some of London's most iconic buildings. The house itself is a work of art, with beautifully preserved Georgian interiors that will transport you back in time. But the real treasures of the museum are Soane's incredible collection of paintings, sculptures, and antiques. You'll see everything from ancient Egyptian artifacts to stunning Renaissance paintings, all displayed in a way that is both stunning and thought-provoking. One of the fascinating features of the museum is Soane's use of natural light. The skylights and cleverly placed mirrors make the rooms feel bright and spacious, even though the house is actually quite small. Number 2. Warner Bros. Studio The Warner Bros. Studio in London is a must-visit destination for Harry Potter fans and movie lovers alike. This working film studio is where all eight Harry Potter films were made, and visitors can explore the real-life sets, costumes, and props used in the movies. You'll get to see everything from the Hogwarts Great Hall to the Forbidden Forest, and even take a ride on the Hogwarts Express. The studio also offers behind-the-scenes tours, special events, and interactive exhibits that give you a glimpse into the magic of movie making. If you're a Harry Potter fan, this will feel like a paradise to you. Now, at number one, we have the Westminster Abbey. Westminster Abbey is one of the most iconic and historic buildings in London. Located in central London, this gothic masterpiece has been the site of coronations, royal weddings, and famous burials for over 1,000 years. The interior is breathtaking, with soaring arches, intricate stained glass windows, and countless monuments and memorials to famous figures from British history. If you visit this place, you'll get to explore the cloisters and gardens and even attend a service or concert. Whether you're interested in architecture, history, or religion, Westminster Abbey is an amazing destination that will leave you in awe. So guys, these are the 10 best places you can visit in London this year. Which of these places would you like to visit first? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.